The 3D Printing Pavilion, located in Ningxia's capital of Yinchuan, allows visitors to create self-portraits of themselves using 3D scanning and printing technology. Long Qingchun, a designer working at the pavilion, is taking photos of a customer with a 3D camera. Long said the photos will later be put on a computer that will display the photos in stereo 3D. The images can then be edited and reprocessed according to the designer's intent. In another part of the pavilion, designer Long Hai Chao is in charge of making full-length 3D portraits. He is scanning a customer from every direction, saving dozens of images in a computer at the same time. This is the block I scanned just now. These are the front, back, left and right blocks. After scanning, I can create a model by joining them together in the computer. The model will be polished by the computer software. Then I can get a complete figure. The blocks need to be edited and processed in order to represent the subject in the most accurate way possible. The designers use software to present the customer's facial expressions, skin texture, and clothing color. After forming a full model in the computer, we'll layer and slice it, and then bring it to the 3D engraving machine. After eight to nine hours, we can get a 3D image that is about one one hundred and fiftieth the size of a real person. The machine uses lasers to engrave the 3D images inside blocks of glass. The designers said each half-length portrait costs about 200 yuan, or 32 US dollars, while a full-length portrait is 500 to 600 yuan. The designers said the technology they use is widely employed in the fields of architecture, medicine, and mechanical design. Nowadays, 3D printing is mainly used for model reconstruction in the medical field. We can get a model of a human skeleton via 3D reconstruction before doing surgery. Doctors can use the model to simulate operations so as to shorten surgery time and therefore facilitate their patient's recovery.